Welcome to our Saturday night movie, and we do have a spectacular film for you tonight. It took $12 million and something like two years of planning to bring Spartacus to the screen. And as spectacle, movies don't come much bigger or more impressive than Spartacus even today. It's based on a novel by Howard Fast, and the movie deals with the revolt of the slaves led by Spartacus against the power of ancient Rome. It's fairly certain that a Spartacus actually lived, he's mentioned in various historical accounts, and he did organise a slave army of some 20,000 men in a revolt. But the exact circumstances of his origin and death are unknown, though you can bet his death was pretty bloody. The movie was produced by Kirk Douglas's own production company, and he assembled a highly impressive cast who worked for over five months on the shooting, and Kirk Douglas gave it all to the 32-year-old, as he was then, Stanley Kubrick. He looks a bit demented in that shot we have for you there, but uh, he is a very obsessive man, whose films prior to Spartacus had been on very much smaller budgets and on a much smaller scale. But Douglas's daring paid off. Spartacus is, at its best, a fascinating and important work. It's a a wide variety of performances are used in this film, but it all works well because Kubrick is terrific. And there's a scene from the famous gladiatorial combat um, moment, and it, the, you can see the men on the camera doing it, and when you see it in the film, it doesn't look possible that it's just being filmed in a studio set. This may not be ancient Rome as it was, but who can deny the pleasure of watching the cast? Such eloquent performers as the late Laurence Olivier and the late Charles Lawton, Peter Ustinov in an Oscar-winning performance, or deny the effectiveness or the dash of Kirk Douglas himself in the central role. There's Gene Simmons, Tony Curtis and Charles Lawton. Spartacus remains one of the more intelligent and engrossing big screen spectacles for all its historical guesswork. And just one other point, for lovers of movie music, Please take note of the magnificently effective score written for the film by Alex North.